What's up guys, it's Austin Silva with the Factory Team, and today I'm going to show you how to swap a controller module on your GTS. This also applies to GT. Before we get started, parts that you'll need for this procedure. So we'll need a controller module, we'll need a hardware kit, we'll need a gasket. These swell over time, so definitely want to use a fresh gasket whenever you're opening a controller. And you also need an LED and you'll need some fresh hub bolts. And the tools that we'll need for this procedure, so we need a few different uh, torque wrenches, one for the axle bolts, and these are uh, 24 millimeters. Also going to grab a regular uh, socket wrench with the TP45, the IP20 security bit. We have a Phillips and a TP25. We have a Sharpie just for marking our controller electrical tape or taping the battery ends when we remove them. A rag, keep everything clean. All right, let's get started. So we're gonna start on the bottom. We're gonna remove both bumpers. Now we're gonna undo the foot pad screws here. I'm gonna take out the cable retainers. I'm gonna undo the foot pad and motor connectors. And in order to do the motor connector, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this cable out of the rail channel. And we're gonna flip this over. We're gonna take the fender delete off. We're gonna take the foot pad screws out. Next, we're going to take the left rail off, the one with the battery cable. Okay, then we're going to take the uh, rail screws off that are connected to the controller and battery module. As we take the controller module screws out, we're just going to brace the bottom of the controller, holding it up to the rail. Now we're going to take the controller lid off. Before working inside of the controller, just make sure you're grounded, especially if you're working on a rug, such a, a large piece of metal. First, we're gonna disconnect the communication by pinching this tab and pulling up. Now we're going to disconnect this connector by pushing down on this tab here. As you push down on the tab, push out, and then we're also gonna brace with my fingers here so it doesn't get shoved back too much. Then we're just going to put some electrical tape over these connections. And we'll disconnect the glands here. Unlike uh, the battery module swap where we set this on the side, since the controller is so light, we can just go ahead and leave it uh, flat. We'll take the remaining two controller screws out and we're halfway done. So we'll go ahead and transfer our LED over from the old one to the new one. So first we'll go ahead and undo it here. And we'll take our Phillips, remove our bracket. And there's two stops here. Slide it in between those just like that. And when we put this um, retainer on. We just want to make sure that the LED board is perpendicular and not sitting at an angle because we don't want to clamp it down at an angle. And then we'll install the new module. Whenever the rails are bare, I like to just wipe the uh, connection clean because anytime you have dirt and debris in between the module and the rail, um, even if you tighten them down pretty good, sometimes the debris can get worked loose, end up loosening that connection over time. So I just like to wipe those off before I reinstall them. Uh, now we're gonna install the battery wires.
Okay, so now after we have the battery connected to the new controller, we're just going to test for power real quick by turning the power on. Uh, it does throw an error code. That's fine. You still have to go into the app and um, install the new controller. But for now, at least we know uh, it's getting power. So we made those connections, right? I'm just gonna quickly check that the gasket isn't pinched anywhere. We're just gonna tighten these down in sort of a star pattern so that we don't pull the controller lid in one direction. So we're just gonna count and mark each of these 10 screws to make sure we didn't miss any. We're gonna put the rail back on. And we're gonna hold the controller to the rail while we tighten these in. Make sure the threads go in straight. Since the wheel wants to drop down away from the rails, you might have to hold the axle up into the notch so that the threads go in straight. Go ahead and plug your foot pad connector in. Make sure the locking ring isn't catching. And plug the motor cable back in. We'll put the cable back in the rail channel. And then our cable retainers back on top. The bottom foot pad screws. Finally, replace the bumpers. So thanks for watching. That's how you swap your controller module. Uh, if you have any questions, reach out to customer support. If you're not comfortable working in the controller module or doing this type of repair, send it in to us. Uh, we'd be happy to service it for you.